What exactly do you eat on a keto diet? After watching this video, you will know. We talked about the benefits of a keto diet and how it works. In this video, you will learn exactly what foods to eat and not to eat, plus when to eat and how much to eat. And you will see that it's all surprising simple. First, the quick summary. A keto diet contains very few carbs and a higher proportion of energy from natural fat. The main amount should be moderate. The diet is based on real food like meat, fish, eggs, vegetables and natural fats like butter or from fatty food like avocado, salmon or olive oil. Avoid the carbohydrate rich foods like sugar, sweets and starchy foods, bread, pasta, rice and potatoes. And you could end up eating something like this in a day just as an example. A simple way to explain the difference between regular food and keto food is that you remove the large portion of carbs, rice, potatoes or pasta and replace it with vegetables prepared in fats. For example, veggies fried in butter or salad with olive oil. It can really be that simple. So how much should you eat? Well, you can eat when you are hungry until you are satisfied. Super simple. You don't need to count calories, you don't need any pills, no special products and no meal replacements on a keto diet. You only need real food. Another important difference, waiting until you are hungry to eat feels easy on keto because your body can now switch directly to burning your body fat when needed. On a carb diet, you will get sugar cravings and feel tired if you don't eat all the time. But on a keto diet, you get more energy when you are hungry. Now, once you do it, hunger is the best spice. So eat when you are hungry until you are full and then repeat this for as long as you want, maybe your whole life. It's as natural as can be like breathing. Just remember to choose food with very little sugar or starch. Now a common rule is to stay below 20 grams of carbs per day. And a simple beginner's rule to achieve that is to stick to food with less than 5% carbs. For the rest of this video, we will go through exactly what to eat and what not to eat on keto. When it comes to meat, just choose what you like. Beef, pork, game, poultry, bacon. The fatty parts are good for you and so is the skin on the chicken. Try to choose organic and grass-fed beef if you can. It tastes better, it's better for your health, for the environment and for the animals. When in doubt about processed meat like sausages, cold cuts and meatballs, just look at the ingredients list for carbs like added sugar or flavor. Again, less than 5% carbs, seafood is excellent. Everything is good. You can choose what you like. Fatty fish like salmon is great, but avoid breeding as it's full of carbs. And if you can find wild caught fish, that's the very best with even more healthy omega-3 fat. How about eggs? People often eat a lot of eggs on keto, which are perfect and nutritious food. You can have them boiled, fried in butter or as omelets. Whatever you want, try to buy organic and if you can, find eggs from free range chickens. Congratulations, they are the best. People often ask me, how many eggs can you eat considering cholesterol? And my answer is always no more than 36 eggs per day. But you don't have to. You could eat fewer eggs too if you want. When it comes to vegetables, a simple rule is that all vegetables growing above ground are good as they contain very few carbs. You can probably eat a pound 
a day, maybe more, and still stay in ketosis. Vegetables are good for you. Vegetables from below ground tubers should be kept to a minimum on a keto diet as they contain a bit more carbs. Potatoes, including sweet potatoes, should preferably be avoided. Vegetables are also a great and tasty way to eat good fat on keto. So fry your vegetables in butter, pour plenty of olive oil over your salad. You can even think of vegetable as a fat delivery system. What fat should you eat on keto? Use real butter and real heavy cream for cooking. Forget the old and obsolete fear of natural fat. That way the food gets tastier and you get more satisfied. You can also have rich sauces like Bernays or Hollandaise sauce or garlic butter. Coconut oil, olive oil, they are also excellent choices. Now it's important to realize that while some people still fear natural saturated fats, that's actually been a mistake. Modern science proves it. Natural saturated fats, including butter, are fine to eat. Don't fear fat. Fat is your friend. How much fat can you eat? Just eat until you are satisfied. And if you are still hungry, eat more fat. Other naturally rich dairy products are also good. Not just butter, like cheese, real full fat cheese, of course, you can also have really high-fat yogurt like Greek, Turkish or Russian yogurt, but make sure it's really high-fat and with no added sugar. So why are the high-fat alternatives the best choices? Well, it's because they keep you full longer and therefore you will want to eat less, which is good as dairy products like yogurt and milk. They do contain some milk sugar and if you choose the highest fat options, you will get fuller sooner and you won't get a lot of milk sugar. Low fat products, they don't keep you satisfied. They taste worse and they may even be worse for your health. Worst of all, low-fat yogurts often have tons of sugar added to them. So they removed the natural fat and instead added some amount of calories in poor sugar, often as a huge amount. So always avoid that. Low-fat milk should also be avoided. It could be called white soda. Actually, you probably shouldn't drink milk at all on a keto as the carbs do add up quickly about 50 grams of sugar in one glass of milk. Sugar and starch that you want to avoid are primarily found in sweets and bread, pasta, rice and potatoes. The absolutely worst two things for your weight and health are soda and fruit juices as they contain a ton of sugar. The same goes for so-called sports drinks and energy drinks. They are sugar bombs. The last drink to say goodbye to is unfortunately beer, as it's full of rapidly digested carbs. I'm sure you have heard the expression beer belly. And now you know why beer causes the beer bellies, because of all the bad carbs. A better choice for special occasions is a glass of red wine. Muffins, cookies, candies, they are also really bad choices on keto. No surprises really. A small piece of dark real chocolate on occasions is a much better choice. Or some nuts. Here is what perhaps surprises people the most. Fruit. It contains a lot of sugar. Which you noticed of course as it tastes sweet. Try to view fruit as natural candy and eat only occasionally. Berries are better. They contain less sugar and they are great with real whipping cream. It's a popular keto desert. So how about drinks? What should you drink on keto? Soda, fruit juice and beer are out of course. The best drink is plain water. Carbonated or flavored if you want. Coffee and tea are great even with a moderate amount of milk or cream. 
When it comes to alcohol, there are several smart alternatives that taste good and impact weight minimally, not just red wine. But be careful, you may be more sensitive to alcohol on keto. In conclusion, here is classic keto food, real food without sugar or starch. You eat when hungry until you are satisfied and this could be three times a day, up to five times I recommend because it's boost your metabolism on the top, what's also so important. But some people only need to eat twice or perhaps even just once a day. You can choose what feels right for you. Listen to your body, because me personally, I prefer go away from the alcohol I was talking before, and when it comes about food, five times, three main dishes, two snacks because that boosts your metabolism a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Believe me, this is my advice, my personal advice, how to deal right on keto. But by the end, you can choose what feels right for you. For even more details about different kinds of food, check out our full keto guide, including our visual guides to keto vegetables, fruits, nuts, alcoholic drinks, fat, sauces, etc. And of course, in the link section here on the discourse, you found plenty of alternatives and meal plans and everything you need for your successful keto. Okay, let's go ahead. And for more on how to actually cook these great keto ingredients to make your next fantastic meal, use the link in the top menu to our keto recipes page. However, before you actually get started eating keto, I would recommend you to watch the next videos in this series. It's about the common side effects that many people experience when starting keto and how you can avoid them. I will see you soon in part four. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. If you have any questions, comment below, give me a like, and just follow me to don't miss one of my videos on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook to your success, your health and wealth mentor.